Hello again, everyone. This is John and Glenn with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today we're going to be reviewing pycnogenol. Um, pycnogenol is a antioxidant, is what it's mostly known for. You know, most people are going to understand it. And the actual pycnogenol, you'll see a little R next to it if you get the proper one. Um, th that's an actual trademark name, um, and specifically what it is, I'm just going to read here because I didn't remember off the top of my head. It's a patented water extract of the bark of the French maritime pine, um, which is grown in coastal southwest France. So. That's what the term means, basically. It's a proprietary blend of this specific pine extract. It's the one that the relevant research has been done on. Yeah, yeah. So, again, like John said, make sure you look for that trademark name. The one that we have is Source Naturals, Pycnogenol. So, look for that trademark name to know you're getting actual true Pycnogenol. Um, and it's standardized for it's what's called proanthocyanidins and organic acids. So, it's yielding 90% this particular product. Yeah, so that's a, that's a pretty high yield. Um, and, and that's the active ingredient, as Glenn said, that, you, that you're actually, that's one of the reasons why you want to stick with the one that's trademarked, because you know, hey, it's going to have these active ingredients in there. Now, the cool thing about pycnogenol is there's actually a lot of research on it for various benefits or purported benefits. Some of it, it, it does help with, some things it doesn't, you know. Um, there was one study on ADHD where they actually compared it and Ritalin um, to see how it would help. And actually, the placebo outperformed both. So that might tell you a little something about ADHD in and of itself for a lot of people. It's... I, I'm sure it exists for certain people, but some people, I think it's one of those, you know, if, if a sugar pill is outperforming the, 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 the drugs, then the drugs yeah, that, that's pretty telling. Um, so um, it may increase memory and mood. Um, that was some of the other results of studies that have been done, you know, looking at how it can affect your brain. Um, but specifically on the Dr. Oz show, they had talked about it for another miracle, mind you, but, you know, that's, that's a word we, we use with caution. But yeah. the thought is, is it may help with skin. And specifically, there was a study on 20 healthy uh, postmenopausal women, and basically they took uh, pycnogenol for 20 weeks. They took what do we have? The 25 milligram. They took three 25 milligram tablets per day, so 75 milligrams total. And the idea being is that when you age, you know, you lose the the, the plumpness in your skin because it becomes, you know, wrinkly because it's dry. It's really what's going on underneath. You lose the hydration and the tightness and the yeah, junctions. Yeah, the elasticity, so your skin tends to sag as we get older. So the research found that, that taking this may help with increasing elasticity, or what they are saying is that taking it, uh, it may help with protecting collagen and elastin from enzyme degradation. Or and that's part of the down. antioxidant effect, because like for instance, lipid peroxidation, it can help bring down that effect. That's, that's one of, so one of the demonstrated benefits of it are its antioxidant effects, you know, its ability to neutralize free radicals. Um, it's thought to be mildly anti-inflammatory, um, but that's, again, that's kind of been hit or miss in some of the studies when they've you know, looked at uh, you know, specific markers uh, for that. But for the skin, also it was found that it takes about six weeks to build up in your system before those benefits are realized. And it works best in people who have already dry skin or already aging skin, you know, is another way to think of it. So Yeah, so it's definitely not something you're going to take and notice an effect right away. It does take some time to build up in the body. There are some creams and things like that also that, that you know, highlight technology yes. as an ingredient. But Again, that's probably going to be something you have to take over a prolonged period of time to notice effects. From. Yeah, and it's usually from the inside out. That's the best way you can take care of your skin. And, and, and always, you know, eating a proper diet and things like that are going to help. For instance, if you're always on a hypercaloric diet, you're eating too much, um, you know, you get too much sugar floating in your blood, and then that's when you can get glycation. When it's left sitting around, it can react with polyunsaturated fats and start to break down that collagen. So, you know, there's no one thing in the body that's, that's kind of what we like to drive across that's going to be this great, you know, uh, panacea, if you will, for every little thing. But this can help. This could be a, a piece in your regimen, and there's actually some demonstrated evidence. Um, it's been studied for other things, too, erectile dysfunction, things like that, but those studies, we couldn't really take anything out of them because they were also, they had arginine as well, so they were taking something else as well, so we'd really be guessing at the corollaries and stuff, and we don't want to do that. So um, that's pretty much what we can tell you. Um, based on that one study, hopefully they repeat it and uh, try and replicate the results, you know, Three, uh, three 25 milligram servings per day can help with skin moisture. That with something like um, phytoceramides, maybe, you know, that was another one that had some decent research. And again, along with proper diet, you know, exercise, all, all of those things are going to help. I know that sounds repetitive, but it's true. That's the most important thing. Yeah, so all of those things go hand in hand. And the way, by the way, it does help with the skin is it increases hyaluronic acid. Yes. That's, that's another thing, too. Um, because a lot of people supplement with hyaluronic acid as well. So. Yeah, I think the issue with supplementing with it is it doesn't absorb very well. And it's expensive, yeah, right? it's expensive. especially relative to the pycnogenol. So I um, hope we were able to answer your questions. Oh, and there's a couple more real quick. I'm sorry. 
Can it be taken with other stuff? Yes. It, it's not going to interact with anything. There's, there's nothing. It's, it's pine bark extract. There's nothing to worry about. Um, who can take it? You know, basically anybody. Yeah. You know, use it as directed. Um, there's no known side effects. Um, and as we said, when to take it, just three times a day, you know, you just split up your doses. Yeah, it doesn't have a stimulating effect or anything like yeah, that. You so can take it before bed. Before bed. Yeah, good point. So I uh, hope we have an answer to those. If you guys have any other questions, post them in the comments section. We're happy to answer them. Also, you can check us out at facebook.com slash bestprice nutrition. Thanks for watching. Thank you.